Ah, a situation we know all too well. Hospitals have been overloaded, nurses have been overworked, and more and more have quit every single day. These problems have been evident since the 1900s, but it has only gotten worse because of the COVID-19 pandemic. As such, solutions such as online chatbots for charging, which is the process of prioritizing cases for treatments, were developed. Most of the bots used today are text-based. Although these do work, they can be further improved through the usage of voice features, which according to Ruan and co-authors, allow for a better flow of thought. This is why our goal is to create and develop both a voice-controlled and chat-based AI medical assistant with the intent of figuring out which among the two are going to be faster, more accurate, and higher rated by users. These efforts are directed towards the hope that we will be able to help nurses lessen their workload and at the same time provide vital information for patients in times of urgency. For the first phase of our methodology, we acquired COVID-19 triage protocols or algorithms from the HPAAC to base our program on. We then used this to make simplified flowcharts to determine the bot's decision structure. We then use the many features of Dialogflow to make the base chatbot. Hi! Hi, I am Red, here to help in your diagnosis. And then, made an algorithm based on the triage protocols and flowcharts. This was coded in Python and was mainly comprised of if and else statements. Once we had an initial working bot, we made 10 patient dialogues or vignettes that would be used for testing. We then got the sample size of 30 student participants to test both the VC IMA and the CB IMA. Each participant then filled in a survey about their preferences. After the testing phase, we analyzed the data and got the following results. In terms of accuracy, the CB IMA outperformed the VC IMA and was able to predict more cases correctly. As you can see here, the CB IMA was 3.3% more accurate than the VC IMA, which only really accounts for one more incorrect prediction. This difference wasn't significant enough for us to be able to say that one bot was better at predicting than the other. We also evaluated each bot's duration per triage, comparing the average number of seconds each IMA took to give the users a result. The VC IMA took 272 seconds to finish on average, while the CB IMA just took 212. This means that the CB IMA outperforms the VC IMA by around 60 seconds. Unlike with the bot's accuracies, this difference is significant, indicating that the speech and voice features of the VC IMA did have an effect on the speed albeit a negative one. These can be attributed to users having to manually click the microphone button before inputting their responses and the slow speech recognition of Python. Finally, here is a summary of the user ratings. As you may observe, the results between the VC IMA and CB IMA are all very close, with both bots coming out on top in different categories. Since these results were all similar, we couldn't definitively say that either is undeniably superior over the other. Moving forward, future researchers can build upon these chatbots to improve their accuracy, speed, and user friendliness. That is all. Thank you for listening. We are Jaden Reyes, Meg David, and oh, where, where is, is Katrina? Exhibiting mild COVID symptoms. Isolate yourself and inform close contacts you've met in the last 14 days. To confirm whether or not you have COVID, take Thanks a rapid antigen.